Okay, so when you say intellectual, it happens during this, the time of where in the Greek people speculate about the nature. Okay, in the period before Socrates. Okay, sana yan. Okay, that is roughly 600 to 400 BCE. Okay. Here, we can define science in different ways. And number one, science as an idea. Okay, we can say that science is an idea because it includes ideas, theories, and all systematic explanation and observations about the natural and physical world. So, dito na natin na incorporate yung mga uh, ideas that we have on how do we understand our natural, uh, uh, the, the, the way, the, the nature Okay? Evolving about around us. Okay? And then the physical world that we live in, of course. Okay? And then the science as an intellectual activity, of course, we can say that science is an intellectual activity because it encompasses a systematic and practical study of natural and physical world. Okay? This process involves systematic observation and experimentation. Of course, uh, kung iuugnay nyo to on how you grew up as a, as a human being, diba? you started as a, as a curious child, right? Then you tend to question your surroundings. Okay? So, paano ba tayo natuto? Okay? Nagtat nung mga bata tayo, nagtatanong-tanong tayo sa parents natin. Diba? We, we tend to question na nag-aaway-aaway uh, na nag to produce uh, thoughts, di ba? Okay, so it says that uh, yung id daw kasi, it acts like a child. Okay, so para siyang childish. Okay, and then ego is the adult itself. Siya na yung uh, mag-discern what is good and bad. Okay, so and then the super ego is seems that seems like to be a parent. A nurturing parent, a punishing parent which to, that tells you you can't or you must or you're not allowed diba and then the child is uh is something that is comparable to a child okay pero ano bang ano bang sa child diba child uh, childish children are childish kano gusto nila yun ang gusto nila right okay so our ego helps us to discern which of the two yun ano susundin natin oh perfect example kung magi-scroll ka tapos nagsha-shopee ka diba Okay? So, may gusto kang bilhin. Sasabihin mo, kailangan ko ba to? Parang hindi ko to kailangan. Parang, kailangan ko ba to? O bibiling ko ba to? Pero sasabihin mo rin na, ah, deserve ko to. Bilhin ko to, deserve ko to. Diba? So, it depends on your needs, diba? Or your wants, diba? So, sino ang nagtumutulong sa'yo to, to discern? Which is which, before that, which is which between the two? Your ego. Okay? So, we all have our ego. Okay? So those are the three factors now that is affecting our decision making. Okay? So after intellectual, let's move to Mesoamerica. Okay, ano ba yung mga contribution na Mesoamerica? Okay? Mesoamerica has computed a lot of ideas or discoveries for archaeology. Okay? Archaeolo archaeological facts. Okay? The temples and the pyramids left a lot of architecture that leads to us to study more of it. And then the Maya civilization is one of the famous civilizations that lasted for approximately 200 years. Okay? Kung imagine nyo yung, uh, ano ba yung sikat na sikat na contribution ng Mayan, Mayan civilization? Diba? Yung Mayan calendar. Diba? Kung isipin nyo yung Mayan calendar, it ended daw. It ended daw ng year 2012. Nalala nyo ba yun? Yung sinabi nila na September, ay September ba? December 21? Mag December 21 mag Ah, yes, December 21. O, di ba sinabi dun na mag-end daw ang world because ang Mayan calendar daw is nag-end ng December 21, uh, 2012. Di ba? So, pero kung isipin nyo, hindi siya totoo. Pero nung time na yun, naalala ko, nasa Isabela kami, lumindol talaga. Lumindol talaga. So, nung lumindol, ala, grabe, syempre, nag-panic-panic kami. Ala, totoo yata, mag-end na yung world ngayon. Ganon. So, uh, December yun, o nga, December 21 nga yun kinabukasan birthday ng nanay ko. Tapos ano, tapos ang, ang, ang reason nila kung bakit end of the world is because end na ng Mayan calendar. Di ba? So kung naalala nyo ba yun? Tapos, <laughs> ang hirap magturo sa faculty bukod sa maingay sila, nag-offer pa ng ice cream. <laughs> okay. So di ba, uh, uh, ang nangyari, kung mapapansin nyo, hindi nga nag-end yung world. Pero parang may nagbago. You no? Know? From 2012, parang hindi na ganun kasaya ang Christmas. Parang last naging masaya ang Christmas 2012. Tapos nun, hindi na masaya. Ano? Parang may nagbago nga. Parang may, may, may nahinto. Pero hindi yung mundo. No? Parang may nagbago lang talaga. So, these Mayan people, they developed the technology for growing different crops and building elaborate cities using ordinary machineries and tools. Okay? 
So, ganito, yung uh, Amayan people, this is how they dress. Okay? So, that is how their warriors look like. They man, woman, the priest, and the king. So, anong, anong mapapansin nyo? Makulay sila, ano? Makulay na sila. Okay? So, they built hydraulic systems with sophisticated waterways to supply water to different communities. So, sa kanila galing yung irrigating system. Okay? To supply water. Okay? The Mayans built looms for weaving clothes and devised rainbow of glittery paints from mineral called mica. Okay? So, yung mineral na yan, uh, glittery powder siya, na ginagamit nila sa gamit, sa makeup, okay? sa body paints nila. Okay? They are also believed to be the first people to produce rubber products 3,000 years before Goodyear received its patent in 1844. So, sila daw yung unang gumamit ng rubber products. Okay? okay. The Mayans are considered one of the most uh, scientific, scientifically advanced societies in Mesoamerica. So, sila daw yung uh, pinaka-knowledgeable when it comes to science. Okay? in Mesoamerica. Okay? Okay, let's move on na. Let's move on with Inca civilization. Okay? The Inca civilization is also famous in Mesoamerica. Okay? The Incas made advanced scientific ideas considering their limitations as an old civilization. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga uh, binigay ng Incan people sa atin? Okay? The following were scientific ideas and tools that they developed to help them in everyday life. Number one, is the roads, okay? Anong roads? The roads that are paved with stones, okay? So, ang uh, roads nila na is gawa sa stones. So, those are contributory factors that, give, that is given to us by Incan people, okay? Stone buildings that surmounted earthquakes and other disasters. So, yung mga bahay na bato, okay? They are, uh, they are introduced to us by Incan peoples, okay? Irrigation system, okay? Yung mga irrigasyon, yan sa, mga, sa farming natin, okay? It is a technique for storing, storing water for their crops to grow in all types of land. So, yung hanggang ngayon ay ginagamit na irrigation ay inintroduce sa atin ng Incan peoples. Okay? Ano pa? Calendar with 12 months to mark their religious first festivals and prepare them for planting season. Okay? So, yung 12 months, okay, na, na, sa kalendaryo, the idea or the concept of that was brought to us by Incan people. Okay? The first suspension bridge. Ano ba yung suspension bridge? Yun yung hangi. Okay? Yung suspended siya, diba? yung mga orange na, na bridges dito sa Pilipinas, those are suspension bridges. Yung parang uh, nasa taas yung foundations nila. Okay, then kipo. Ano ba yung kipo? Uh, sa kanila galing ang kipo, a, a system of knotted ropes to keep records that only experts can interpret. Okay, so uh, para siyang uh, lubin, na may tali-tali, okay, para siyang may more school na ang nakakaintindi lang is yung experts. Okay? In Catex Tessis, cloth was one of the special, uh, specially prized artistic achievements. Okay, yung Inca textiles nila, yung patterns kasi nila kakaiba and maganda talaga. Okay? Okay, after uh, Incas, we have the Aztec civilization. Okay, ano bang meron sa Aztec? They made substantial contributions to science and technology and to the society. Some of their contributions are the following. Number one is the mandatory education. Okay? So, itong mandatory ed uh, education, itong uh, uh, way na gusto natin matuto sa skwelahan ay galing sa Aztec people. The Aztec puts the value on education. That is why their children are mandated to education regardless of their social class, gender, or age. And it is an early form of universal or inclusive education. Okay? So, sa kanila galing yung uh, your right to study regardless of what social class you are, you belong what gender you have or what age you have. Okay? Another is the chocolates. Okay? This Aztec in Mexico developed chocolate during their time. In Mayan culture naman, they are used as currency. Anong currency? Yung pangbayad nila. Pera, di ba? The Aztec valued the cacao beans highly and made it as part of their, uh, of their tribute to, uh, to their gods. Okay? So, ginagawa siyang alay. Okay? Okay. They also uh, introduced us the, uh, the use of antispadomic medication. Ano yung antispadomic medication? It is the use of antispadomic uh, herbs or medicines to prevent muscle spasms. Okay? So, anong yun ang gayari pag pinaprevent mo yung muscle spasms? Nire-relax mo yung muscle. Pag nire-relax yung muscle, na, na pre prevent okay? yung further pain, pre -pre -pre further production of pain ng ating uh, pain receptors. Okay? Ito ay nakakatulong. They, they use it uh, for surgery. During surgery. Okay? So, they use it as pampahit, pampamanhid. 
Yun. They introduced us that the anti-pandemic medication. Okay, and then they introduced us the use of chinampa. Ano yung chinampa? It is a form of Aztec technology for agricultural farming in which the land was divided into rectangular areas. Tapos susuka, uh, 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 hukaya nila yun ng mga kanal. Tapos lalagyan nila ng tubig. Okay? And then, of course, they introduced us the Aztec calendar. Ano yung Aztec calendar? They used them to plan their activities, rituals, and planting season. Okay? And then, of course, the invention of canoe. Ano yung canoe? Of course, we all know that. Yung balsa. Okay? Yung parang balsa. You, uh, you use it in traversing bodies of water. Yung nakatayo ka pero. Okay? So, a light narrow boat used for traveling in water systems. So, sa atin, balsa tawag dun. Okay. After that, we have this Asian civilization, okay? Uh, Asian Revolution, okay? The Asian Revolution is so thought Asian countries about freedom and independent nationhood along the improvement brought by its in, uh, it internally. Okay, so marami din tayong contribution as Asian people sa mundo, okay? Number one, India is a huge peninsula surrounded by the vast bodies of water and fortified by huge mountains in its northern borders. Okay? The Indians, ano naman ang uh, contribution ng Indians? They are known for manufacturing iron, bakal, and in metallurgical works. So, the iron steel is considered to be the best and held with high regard in the Roman Empire. So, baka may imagine niyo yung Roman soldiers, um, ang kanilang mga protectors ay eh, gawa sa bakal, di ba? So, those bakal pala, those iron pala, inaangkat nila yun sa Indians. Okay? So, they are also famous in medicine. Okay? So, marami din silang traditional medicine na hanggang ngayon ay ginagamit pa rin. Okay? And then, the Ayurveda, ni Ayurveda, it is a system of traditional medicine that originated in ancient in India before 2500 BC and is still practiced as a form of alternative medicine today. So, itong Ayurveda to ginagamit pa rin siya ngayon. Mayroon siyang uh, book of medical medicinal plants or medicinal practices. Okay? So, they discovered some medicinal properties of plants that led them to develop medicines to cure various illnesses. Okay? Some Deepo. <laughs> so, some ancient texts like Susruta Sasmita describes different surgical and other medical procedures famous in ancient India. So, ito, nilagay nila, lagyan nila ng account, tinake account nila into a book that is uh, called Susruta Sasmita. Samhita. Okay? Ancient Indian is also notable in the field of astronomy. Okay? So, mahilig din sila. They also uh, contributed some factors or some studies when it comes to astronomy. So, they developed theories on the configuration of the universe, the spherical self-supporting Earth, and the, the year of 360 days with 12 equal parts of 30 days. So, it's, kung makikita nyo sa kanila galing na yung konsepto na ang isang taon ay 360 days. Pero sa atin ngayon, of course, we know na 365 days, ang complete uh, days of the calendar. Okay? And then, it, of course, they also adapted the 12 equal parts. Okay? And then, they are also known for their mathematics. Sino na pa na dito ng ano? Ng three idiots. Diba? Doon may kita mo yung... Yes, oh, diba? Diba sa three idiots, they are engineers. Tapos, kung makikita nyo talaga sa India, masyado silang uh, mahigpit when it comes to studying of mathematics. Kahit sa elementary. Oo. Because, uh, kung makikita nyo talaga, Indians, uh, lalo na sa movie na yun, diba? Ang higpit nila sa pag-aaral ng, ano, ng mathematics. Diba? Uh, mayro pa yung part, may, mayro pang time doon na may nagpamatay, right? Because of the pressure. So, ganun. Kaya sabi nila, maganda mag-aral ng engineering sa India. Hmm, totoo yun. And then, uh, they gave us this uh, uh, Arabhatiya by Aryabhata. Si Sir Arabhata, he is an Indian astronomer and mathematician in his Arabhatiya. Oh, ay, ano pala kayo, no? BS Math, oh. Panoonin nyo yung, ano, three idiots, ang gato kayo, ano? <laughs> Ito na sa number of trigonometric, oh yeah, suggest mo sa classmates mo yun, panoorin nyo. Ganda. Trigonometric functions, medyo mahaba nga lang yun. The functions, tables, and techniques as well as algorithms of algebra. So, magkita ka sa lahat algebra. Kaya doon sa ano din eh, sa 3 idiots, nakikita mo na ang galing-galing-galing sa mat. Diba? The uh, algebra, uh, the, it is, uh, the concept of algebra is brought about by this Arabiata man. Okay, an Indian man. An Indian astronomer. Okay? 
and and all, all of this is taken into account in his Aryam Hatiya. Okay? Okay, so uh, enough from the from the Indians, let's move on with China. Uh, China, one of the ancient civilizations with substantial contributions in many areas of uh, life, like medicine. Hanggang ngayon mapapansin nyo, ang daming traditional medicine ng China. Okay? Astronomy, science, okay? mathematics, arts, philosophy, and music. Okay, the Chinese are known for their traditional medicines. Okay, mga uh, lalong-lalo na yung acupuncture, di ba? Natay nyo na ba yung magpa-acupuncture? Itutusok, itutusok nila yon sa, ayan, yung third picture dyan sa screen nyo, uh, nakaturo dyan yung mga acupuncture points, yung mga pressure points ng katawan natin. So, sa paniniwala ng mga Chinese people, which is accepted naman ngayon sa traditional medicine natin, sa uh, medicine natin, ang mga, actually, mga doctors nga namin nag-acupuncture, okay? it is very accepted na yung mga points na yan, connected siya in certain body organs, body parts, to relieve pain. Okay? To relieve pressure, kaya siya acupuncture. It uses relievance of pressure. Okay? So, use of herbs then, right? Ang dami nilang herbs sa China. Very rich sila when it comes to herbs. Right? Okay? So, medis uh, let's move on with, ano, uh, patapos na to. Okay? Middle East. Okay? The revolutions in the Middle East were a product of development and growth of individual nationalism, imperialism for the efforts of westernized and modernized Middle Eastern societies and to push the declining power of the Ottoman Empire in the Arab region. So, ito yung, kung babalikan nyo to, yung mga Ottoman Empire na yan, yan yung mga, ano nila nun, kauna-unahang empire nila, okay, sa region, sa Arab region. Okay, a Muslim scientist named Ibn al-Haytham is regarded as the father of optics. So, siya yung nag-aral ng uh, uh, bending of light, okay, sa liwa a ilaw, yung light, bending of light itself, Speci especially for the empirical proof of the intermission of theory of light. Na ang light daw, nagbe-bend siya to produce everything that is unnatural to us or uh, uh, new to us. Okay? That is new to us. Tapos, of course, uh, uh, as, as we observed how things uh, evolve or how things goes in our uh, environment or in our surroundings, natututo tayo. So, that is how observation is very essential when it comes to studying science. Then, of course, how do we uh, prove that we are right? We do experimentations, right? Okay? So, science as a body of knowledge naman, it is a subject of dis or discipline or field of study that deals with the process of learning about the natural and physical world. Okay? So, it is a body of knowledge. When you say body of knowledge, it is in it is in comprises of several several uh, studies uh, about science. Di ba dami nating branches of science? Okay? So, ang science itself is not just science. It is composed of bodies or a, a lot of uh, uh, intellectual uh, intellectual bodies of science. Di ba? In a lot, a, lot of, a lot of branches, of course. Okay? Science is a personal and social activity. Okay? So, when you discover something, hindi lang siya, uh, hindi lang siya nakakakot ng interest ng nakarami. Okay? You yourself alone, diba? pagka mag-isa mo lang, diba? yung mga bagay na na-amaze ka, diba? you tend to study about it. Eh. Sino ba yung you stop lang about something na na-amaze na ka lang? Diba? Minsan, nagpapag-google ka talaga pagka uh, na-amaze ka sa isang bagay. Diba? So, so, it is a personal okay? activity din. It means to survive in and improve life. It is interwoven in our lives, okay? in people's lives. Okay? So, when we say scientific revolution, it is the period of enlightenment when the developments in the fields of science and mathematics transforms the view of society about nature. So, dito na nag-transform yung paniniwala, yung understanding natin when it comes to our surroundings. Imagine, di ba, uh, na na nakwento ko nga sa inyo dati na we live, uh, people in the past, they live in a uh, barbaric setup. Yung parang ang paniniwala nila pag may sakit ka, sinumpa ka, right? Lalo na sa Bible. Okay? Pag may ketong ka, sabi nila, sinumpa ka, right? Pero, no nagkaroon na tayo ng scientific revolution, nagkaroon tayo ng sci uh, scientific uh, knowledge, uh, na, na natuto na tayo na hindi pala ang ketong, ang, ang sakit pala, is hindi galing sa sumpa o hindi galing, hindi galing sa masama ka. Okay? It comes from, ano, the discovery of bacteria, di ba? Ang leprosy, it comes from bacteria, gaya nga ng sinabi ko nung last lesson natin. Okay? So, kung, kung hindi natin alamin, kung hindi tayo nagkaroon ng scientific revolution, we live in, this, in those times. Okay? 
And because of the scientific revolution, nagbago tayo. Okay, nagbago tayo ng uh, idea o nagbago tayo ng paniniwala. Okay, na ang, ang, ang sakit ay ginagamot, hindi binabato, right? Okay, this took, this took place in Europe, okay? So, it explained the emergence of modern science, okay? So, itong scientific revolution, siya yung tumulong kung bakit tayo mayroong modern science, okay? And it took place in Europe, okay? Which was started by the publication of Nicholas Copernicus, the book of revolutions or the uh, on the revolutions of the heavenly spheres, okay? So, during Nico Nicholas Copernicus, nagkaroon na tayo ng thorough understanding about the bodies uh, or the, the planets that is outside planet Earth, okay? And it ended with Isaac Newton, okay? So, let's talk about paradigm and paradigm shifts. Ano ba tong mga to? Okay, paradigms, uh, scientific paradigm is a framework containing all the commonly accepted views about a subject, conventions about uh, direction or what direction the research should take and how it should be performed. Okay. The philosopher Thomas Kuhn, okay, si Thomas Kuhn, he suggested that a paradigm includes the practices that define a scientific discipline at a certain point in time. Okay. Paradigms contain all the distinct established patterns, theories, common methods, and understands, and the standards that allow us to recognize an experimental result as belonging to a field or not. Okay. So kung makikita nyo dyan sa side ng screen nyo, there is an example of the Kuhn cycle. Okay. Mamaya, let's talk about that thoroughly. Okay? Kuhn, wa Kuhn was interested in how the overarching theories we have of the reality itself influence the models and theories we have uh, that we make about reality within that paradigm. Okay? So, this is an example of the Kuhn cycle. Okay, according to Kuhn, okay, before uh, normal science existence, we have pre-science. Okay? Ito na yung, uh, yung mo ma ma panahon na wala tayong masyadong pag-aaral when it comes to things in our environment. Okay, and then after pre-science, the normal science emerges. Okay, this normal science, it is the driving factor or the driving the driver of this uh, normal science is Sir Isaac Newton. Okay, so after that, there comes the modal drift. Okay, and nandito na papasok si Newton and Lesage. Sinamahan na siya ni Lesage. And then of course, the modal crisis. Nagkaroon tayo na uh, modal crisis which is the driving, uh, uh, the driver of this modal crisis is Einstein. Okay, and then of course, because of Einstein, nagkaroon tayo ng uh, revolution. Okay, modal revolution. Sino na yung mga nandyan? Siya yung mga today, today's new theories natin. Sila yung mga makabago makabagong scientist natin. Okay? They challenge the existing uh, studies okay? before this model revolution. And then, of course, because of this model revolution, nagkaroon tayo na paradigm change. Okay? So, pag, dahil nga nagkaroon na tayo ng mga makabagong pag-aaral, uh, hindi naman sa totally dinabunk natin yung mga luma. Where, ang, ang nangyari lang is, uh, dinagdagan. Okay? Sinuplement lang natin yung mga nauna ng pag-aaral. And then, of course, science is a continuous study. It's a continuous process yan. And then, of course, because of that paradigm change, andito tayo to study. Okay? To study from the top. Mag-uumpisa tayo sa normal science. So, that's why it is a cycle. Diba? It's a cycle. Okay, a paradigm dictates this following, uh, um, uh, this following, uh, this itong mga susunod na babanggitin natin. <laughs> this following parts of the studies are the challenges evolved, wherein we have to diverge, disrupt, tra change, okay? We have to rethink, syempre, uh, kung mag-aaral tayo, we have to rethink some things, okay? And then we also uh, discover technology because of this paradigm shifts, okay? Uh, and under paradigm, paradigm we uh, we have to learn what is observed and measured, the questions we ask about the observations, how the questions are formulated, how the results are interpreted, how research is carried out, and then what equipment is appropriate. Diba sabi ko nga sa example ko kanina, kapag uh, nung mga bata tayo or yung mga toddler pa lang tayo, we tend to question things, di ba? And if we question things, sinong sasagot sa atin yung parents natin, right? Tapos, bibigyan nila tayo ng sagot. And then tayo, as a rational being, we have to interpret results. Ah, ganun pala yun. Okay? Tapos after nun, magre-research ka na, tatry mo na siya. Okay? Uh, so that is how uh, para, uh, how paradigm uh, when it comes to, to scientific knowledge happens. Okay? 
It is very common for scientists to dis discard certain models or pick up emerging theories, but once in a while, enough anomalies accumulate within a field that the entire paradigm itself is required to change to accommodate them. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng paradigm shift. Ano ba nangyayari pag may paradigm shift? Okay, meron tayong existing study. Okay? After that existing study, mayroong mudarating na bagong study na magde-debunk nung na existing study na yun. Okay? So, that happens when uh, paradigm shifts came. Okay, normal science is the step-by-step -step scientific process which builds patiently upon previous research. Okay? So, normal science happened because of this step-by-step. -step. Di ba sabi nga natin, gradual learning siya. Okay? Revolutionary science often or often regarded as fringe science questions the paradigm itself. Okay? Kuhn believed that the paradigm should make a sudden dip from one to the next called a paradigm shift. Okay? Where the new paradigm didn't build on the foundations of the old. Okay? Yung pa bago natin uh, learning ngayon, hindi siya nakadepende or hindi siya dumepende dun sa luma. Diba? Dun na siya sa bago. Okay? So, para lang siyang dinabang. Alam nyo yun, pag may, may something kayo na-discover, pas na-discover nyo, ay napag-aralan nyo na hindi pala, mali pala yun. Dinidabang yung theory na yun, right? Okay? So, it is completely changed. Okay? The rules of that study or that building is completely changed. Okay? So, that happens in paradigm shift. Okay? So, ganun lang yung paradigm shift. Okay? Okay. So, let's move. Uh, ito na yung perfect example ng paradigm shifts happening sa history natin when it comes to science and technology learning. Okay? So, a perfect example of this paradigm shift is the Greek cosmology. Ano ba nangyari sa Greek cosmology? Okay? We, get, we began with the invention of the idea for, the, for a scientific theory by the pre-Socratic uh, philosophers. So, ito yung mga philosophers that, that existed, existed before Socrates. Okay? The, they attempted to find underlying and un unchanging principles responsible for the constantly changing phenomena of the everyday natural world. Okay? The Greeks developed a cosmological theory with the Earth at the center and the planet, sun, and moon embedded in the spheres rotating around the Earth. So these Greeks, they, they told us that the center of the, the universe now is not sun. Okay, ano daw? Okay, anong center? Sabi nila, Earth. Okay, Earth daw ang nasa gitna. Tapos yung mga other heavenly bodies, it revolves around that Earth. Okay? The motions in the heavens were understood in terms of Aristotle's theory of motion. Okay? So, yung, uh, yung motions in the heavens, okay, the evolution, that, the revolutions that happened there is explained to us by Aristotle's theory of motion. Okay? Okay, so ganito yung paniniwala ng mga Greeks, di ba? Uh, we all know this naman, sin so, di ba? Nanonood tayo ng Marvel, di ba? Okay, so sabi nga, uh, sabi ng Greeks, uh, Olympus daw resides on the topmost part, or the top story, which is, which is called heaven. Okay, the heaven is, of course, or the Olympus, is the home of the gods. And then under Olympus, okay, we have the vault of heaven. Anong meron sa vault of heaven? We have Helios. Okay? Who's in si Helios? He is the sun. And then we have Selene. So who is Selene? He is, I, he is, or she is the moon. And then, of course, under the vault of heaven, we have the earth. Okay? The, the earth resides in the middle story, wherein the pillars of heaven is found. Okay? The pillars of heaven, they are the mountains, they are the uh, other, other uh, terrestrial be being here in the earth. Be living here on Earth. Okay, and then of course under now that uh, that Earth we have river of ocean. Okay, under the uh, inside the river of ocean we have Hades or the abode of the dead. Okay, or the Tartarus or the Tartarus. Okay, and underneath that we have chaos. Okay, we are uh, under that now the the abode of the dead we have chaos. So pinakailalim daw ng lahat ng yan is merely chaos. Okay, merely chaos. Okay. Uh, after that, there the emerge of Copernican Revolution happened. Okay, so meron na karon tayo ng Copernican Revolution. It happens during the 16th century, wherein Nicholas Copernicus, a uh, Polish mathematician and astronomer, challenged the Ptolemaic model. So, eto ah, uh, eto etong Greeks na to. Okay, sino ba ang ating Greek philosopher na sikat na sikat? Of course, si Ptolemy. Diba? 
So, after that, uh, that revolution, uh, nagkaroon na tayo ng Copernican Revolution. Ano nangyari? Sa, si Copernican Revolution, okay, uh, siya yung uh, nag-propose or inupose niya, inupose niya, I mean, yung Ptolemic model na ang center daw is Earth. Okay? So, he introduced the heliocentric model. Ano yung heliocentric model? Okay, we will discuss this later. Okay? He proposed the heliocentric model in 40-page outline entitled Commentarius. Okay? So, eto na yun. Okay, so, uh, ang laman ng 40-page commentary ni Nic Nicholas Copernicus is eto. Okay, according to Ptolemy, anong sabi niya? Ang centro daw ay Earth. So, nakita nyo sa, sa screen nyo, ang center is ang Earth. So, that is according to Ptolemy. Okay, but, uh, uh, okay, aside from that, sabi ni Ptolemy, the Moon, Mercury, Venus, Sun, they have their own epicycle, sabi. Okay, ano yun? Meron silang sariling sinusundan na path when they uh, revolve around Earth. Okay? So, sabi nila, they rotate in their own rotating spheres. Okay? So, yun yung sabi ni Ptolemy. Pero nung nag-emerge na yung Copernican uh, revolu uh, uh, revolution, okay? Sabi niya, hindi Earth yung center. Ang center, Sun. Okay? Sabi ni Copernicus, uh, ang center daw is Sun. And then followed by Mercury, uh, the first planet to evolve Sun is Mercury, then Venus, Earth, and then Mars, Jupiter, and so on and so forth. And then tapos daw, meron tayong fixed stars, which is medyo true, no? Na may fixed stars lang tayo outside this uh, solar system. Okay, so that is Copernican. Revolution. Okay, he formalized his model of publication of his treatise, The Revolution of Bus Ob Orbium Coelestium, or which means the revolution of the celestial spheres, in 1543. Okay, he gave us the idea of heliocentrism. Okay, so ito na yung heliocentrism kanina. It suggested that the center of the solar system was not Earth, but actually the Sun. Okay, so dito sa heliocentrism, inupose niya ang alin? Geocentric. When you say geocentric model, ito naman yung uh, model ni Ptolemy wherein ang, ang center niya is Earth. And the, cent uh, the Earth daw is the center of the solar system. Okay? Yun, kita niyo yung pinagkaiba ng heliocentrism at geocentric model. Diba? So, makikita niyo dito, Copernicus, it contradicted talaga the Ptolemy model. Okay? And ano, ano na yung accepted ng people ngayon? Okay? During our times, the accepted uh, uh, accepted model is the heliocentrism. Okay? So, this heliocentrism gave birth to the modern astronomy. Okay? So, ayan na yung accepted natin ngayon. Heliocentrism, right? Okay. So, now, let's move on with... Tapos na tayo kay Nicholas Copernicus. Let's move on with the Darwinian Revolution. Anong mayroon kayo sa Darwinian Revolution? Okay? One of the most... Con uh, the Darwinian Revolution is one of the most controversial intellectual revolutions. Okay? So, it happens in 1859. Okay? And it is proposed by sino? Si Charles Darwin. Sino si Charles Darwin? He is an English naturalist, biologist, and geologist. Diba? That published his book... On the Origin of Species. Okay, so si etong libro ni uh, Charles Darwin, he, it wrote, uh, it gave people the idea of where do we came from. Okay, so uh, in this book also, he introduced the evolution uh, that populations pass through, tayo daw, as we evolve daw, we pass through a process of natural selection in which only the fittest would survive. So the idea of the survival of the fittest came from Charles Darwin and his book, The Origin of Species. Okay? Ayun. So, ayun. The Darwin also stated that organisms have the ability to adapt to their environment. So, kaya sila nag-evolve daw, kaya uh, nag-evolve yung uh, organisms is because they have to adapt in their environment. So, yung evolution na nagaganap, uh, it happens because they have to survive eh, di ba? Survi survive the fetus, okay? And would gradually change into something that would be more competitive to survive, okay? And that process is also known as evolution, okay? So that process is known as evolution, okay? The theory of evolution. It came from Charles Darwin, okay? So let's explain the process of natural selection. So as you can see, sa isa screen nyo, there is three images, okay? The first image shows us that there are two variations of mice, okay? One black, tsaka one tan. So, anong mapapansin nyo? They live in an environment that has dark stones, okay? The population of mice has moved into a new area 
where the rocks are very dark due to natural genetic variation. Some mice are black and while others are tan. Okay? So, kung ma-imagine nyo, mayroong mga tan, tas may mice na kulay itim, right? So, ngayon, because, uh, uh, in, uh, di ba, paano ba nagkakaroon ng uh, ecosystem? They, we have predators and we have hosts, di ba? Okay. Tapos, they, they prey, the, the prey or the mice, they have the, they are the prey. Okay? This predator, they eat what they can see above, di ba? So, kung ikaw, ma-imagine nyo from the bird's eye view, Okay, sino bang makikita nyo sa lupa? Okay, imagine the, 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 you are looking at a dark stone, tapos meron dalawang variation ng daga. We have tan and then the black mice, di ba? Okay, so kung may imagine nyo, ang makikita nyo sa taas, yung kakaibang kulay, yung hindi nag-blend sa surroundings, di ba? Yung hindi nakakamuflage. So kapag nasa taas ka, ang makikita mo, yung kulay puti, yung tan, hindi puti, yung tan mice, right? So anong nakakain ng ibon? Yung tan mice, di ba? Anong nauubos? Yung dark mice, di ba? So, kaya nagkaroon ng uh, tan mice are more visible to predatory birds than black mice. Thus, tan mice are eaten at a higher frequency than black mice. Only the surviving mice reach reproductive stage and live offspring. So, sino nakaka-survive to reproduction stage? Yung mga dark mice. So, anong nauubos? Yung tan, tan color. Okay, yung dark, dark mice, they survive. Bakit? Kasi nakakapag-comoflage sila, right? Okay? Mice reproduce uh, giving next generation. Okay? So, sino nagre-reproduce na? Siyempre, yung mga surviving black mice. Okay? Okay, because black ma ma mice had a higher chance of leaving offspring than tan mice, the next generation contains a higher fraction of black mice than the previous generation. So, kaya rin tayo nagkakaroon ng extinction. Okay? Because of this theory or the, because of this process of natural selection. Kaya nagkakaroon ng extinction. Kung mapapansin nyo, hindi na lahat na existing uh, animals of before, of the past, ex still exist. Ibang iba sa kanila na extinct na because of this theory of uh, natural selection. Okay? Okay, another example is a butterfly. Okay, there is genetic variation within the population which can be inherited. So imagine in this uh, butterfly, we have brown and then yellow. Okay, so meron tayong dalawang kulay ng butterfly. Okay, and then magkakaroon sila ng competition. Okay, magkakaroon tayo ng overproduction of offspring. Anong magkakaroon? Overproduction ng colored tsaka ng brown colored, di ba? Yung yellow colored, na over, uh, nagkakaroon sila ng... Uh, Uh, competition with when it comes to foods, right? Or imagine na lang sa puno, ba? Diba? Okay, sa puno, meron tayong dalawang uri ng butterfly na nakatira doon. Okay? So, maglilay sila ng eggs nila and then magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang variation ng caterpillar. Okay? So, kung titignan nyo, individuals with beneficial uh, adaptations are more likely to survive to pass on their genes. So, sa puno na lang, alin dun uh, most likely uh, visible when it comes to predators? Siyempre, yung makulay, right? Yung mga makulay na uh, caterpillar, yung most likely mag uh, so survive. Tapos, ang, ma ang mauubos agad, yung mga makukulay. Tapos, yung kulay brown na nakakamuflage, hindi masyadong nakikita o hindi sila uh, agad nakikita ng predators. So, sila yung natitira. Okay? Yung mga nauubos, yung mga makukulay na agad-agad eh mapapansin-pansin when it comes to predators, di ba? Okay? So, magkakaroon tayo ng selection. Over many generations, there is a change in allele frequency evolution. Okay? So, syempre, kagaya nga lang sinabi ko, survival of the fittest, yung magsusurvive is yung pinaka-fit. Okay? So, yung nawawala dyan is, uh, kung mapapansin nyo, konti, mas kaunti, yung yellow-colored butterflies than sa brown butterflies. Okay? Because of their, ah, uh, their ability to adapt or their ability to to camouflage, di ba? Okay. So, another example is yung sa uh, sa dalawang uri ng giraffe. Di ba? Meron nga tayong giraffe na short-necked and meron din tayong long-necked. Di ba? Each species shows variation. So, itong si short-necked, sila yung mga nag-aagawan sa resources na mas, nasa mababa lang, yung maabot lang nila, right? Okay? So, hanta lang yung mga long-necked, they're, uh, uh, nung nagkaroon sila ng competition sa food, sa so, sa living space sa water, sila yung mas naka-survive kasi sila yung mahaba yung leeg kasi they can reach uh, high taller trees to feed to feed on their fruits, on their leaves, di ba? Then that uh then that giraffe na ano na, na they they feed on land. Sino may mga kalaban nila? Meron silang mga cows, carabaos and, every, and everything na kung nag-feed lower than trees, di ba? So nag, mas nag-survive. 
yung mga giraffe na mas mahahaba yung leg nila. Okay? So, these these survivors, these survivors will pass on their better genes to their offspring who will also show this beneficial variation. Okay? So, survival of the fittest then. Okay? So, that is how natural selection, okay, happens. Okay? According to Charles Darwin. But this very much controversial as this is contradictory to the church teachings at that the source of life is a powerful creator. So, syempre, very contradicting siya when it comes to the, the teachings of the church na nanggaling daw tayo kay Adam and Eve, di ba? And then, ik ik ikaw, kung mapipiliin ka saan mo gusto, saan ka nanggaling, sa so, unggoy kay Adam and Eve, di ba? Okay? So, it made people divided based into their beliefs. Siyempre, yung mga uh, religious people, they tend to more believe, ay, to believe more na tayo ay nanggaling kay Adam and Eve. And both Pero as as the times goes by, of course, this uh, two in, uh, two conflicting uh, intellectual knowledge that we have learn to co to coexist. Okay, so ngayon hindi na siya masadong pinagawayan, kasi uh, we have our own uh, understanding about this, de ba? So you can choose between the two. Okay, so they, the 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 knowledge of the, the intellectual knowledge that this gives us uh, can both coexist. Okay. So after after Charles Darwin, we have Freudian revolution. So in the past, the field of psychology as always under uh, is always uh, considered to be under philosophy. Case okay, so psychology though is under philosophy. So psychology was considered more of an art rather than science. So hindi siya considered as science. Rather, it is considered as an art. Okay. So 19th century, Simon Freud was built to change the people's perception of psychology with his revolutionary theory of psychoanalysis. Okay, so Simon Freud uh, introduced us psychoanalysis. Ano ba yung psychoanalysis? Okay, psychoanalysis daw is the study of human behavior. Okay, so it is a scientific method of understanding inner and unconscious conflicts embedded within one's personality, ringing from free associations, dreams, and fantasies of the individual. Okay. So Freud explained that there are many conscious and unconscious factors that can influence behavior and motion. So ano yung mga yun? So sabi ni Freud, meron daw conflicting factors that influence our emotion and our behavior. Okay? He also argued that personality is a product of three conflicting elements. So yung personalidad natin is a product daw ng three conflicting elements which is the id, the ego, and the superego. Okay? Many believe that Freud's theory had no scientific basis as no empirical or experimental data could support it. Okay? So, sabi nila, ma, uh, wala namang, ano, eh, wala namang basihan yan. So, maraming hindi naniniwala noon. Okay? But still, Freud continued his work. Soon enough, people were able to understand the concepts of psychoanalysis, which eventually resulted in classifying psychology as a science. So, because of this study, ni Simon Freud, uh, na classified it soon na ang psychology is a science hindi siya art okay okay let's talk about this so, id, ego and super ego okay according to simon freud id composed of our instincts okay yung mga instincts natin and then ego is our living reality okay so ito yung conscious natin and then super ego is our morality okay so the good side and then instincts is the bad side so kung na imagine niyo ba yung mga uh, uh, cartoon characters natin ng mga kabataan natin. Di ba parang may uh, pag pinaportray nila yung uh, decision making, laging merong uh, evil and good, ay an angel, di ba? May devil and angels na nag-a uh, na nag away away to produce uh, thoughts, di ba? Okay, so it says that uh, yung id daw kasi, it acts like a child. Okay, so para siyang childish. Okay, and then ego is the adult itself. Siya na yung uh, mag-discern what is good and bad. Okay, so and then the super ego is, seems, that, seems like to be a parent. A nurturing parent, a punishing parent. Which to, that tells you you can't or you must or you're not allowed, di ba? And then the child is uh, is something that is comparable to a child, okay? Pero pa, ano bang ano bang mayroon sa child, di ba? Child, uh, childish. Children are childish. Kung anong gusto nila, yun ang gusto nila, right? Okay? So our ego helps us to discern which of the two yun ang susundin natin. Oh, perfect example. Mag-scroll ka, tapos nag-shopping ka, di ba? 
cupcake. So may gusto kang bilhin. Sasabihin mo, kailangan ko ba to? Parang hindi ko to kailangan. Parang kailangan ko ba to? O bibiliin ko ba to? Pero sasabihin mo rin na, I deserve ko to. Bilhin ko to, deserve ko to. ba? Diba? So it depends on your your wants. ba? Diba? So sino ang nagtumutulong sa'yo to, to discern? Which is which before that, which is which between the two? Your ego. Okay? So we all have our ego. Okay? So those are the three factors now that is affecting our decision making. Okay? So after intellectual, let's move to Mesoamerica. Okay, ano ba yung mga contribution na Mesoamerica? Okay? Mesoamerica has computed a lot of ideas or discoveries for archaeology. Okay, archaeological facts. Okay? The temples and the pyramids left a lot of architecture that leads to us to study more of it. And then the Maya civilization is one of the famous civilizations that lasted for approximately 200 years. Okay? Kung imagine nyo yung, uh, ano ba, yung sikat na sikat na contribution ng Mayan, Mayan civilization. Di ba? Yung Mayan calendar. Di ba? Kung isipin nyo yung Mayan calendar, it ended daw. It ended daw ng year 2012. Nalala nyo ba yun? Yung sinabi nila na September, ay September ba? December 21? Mag- December 21 ang ba? Ah, yes, December 21. O di ba sinabi dun na mag-end daw ang world because ang Mayan calendar daw is nag-end ng December 21, uh, 2012. Di ba? So, pero kung isipin nyo, hindi siya totoo. Pero nung time na yun, naalala ko, nasa Isabela kami, lumindol talaga. Lumindol talaga. So, nung lumindol, ala, grabe, syempre nag-panic-panic kami. Ala, totoo yata, mag-end na yung world ngayon. Ganon. So, uh, December yun. O nga, December 21 ngayon. Kinabukas ang birthday ng nanay ko. Tapos ano, tapos ang, ang, ang reason nila kung bakit end of the world na is because end na ng Mayan calendar. ba? Diba? So kung naalala nyo ba yun? <laughs> tapos, ang hirap magturo sa faculty bukod sa maingay. Sila nag-offer pa ng ice cream. <laughs> okay, so ba diba, uh, uh, ang nangyari, kung mapapansin nyo, hindi nga nag-end yung world. Pero parang may nagbago, you know? From 2012, parang hindi na ganun kasaya ang Christmas. Parang last naging masaya ang Christmas 2012. Tapos nun, hindi na masaya. Ano? Parang may nagbago nga. Parang may, may, may nahinto. Pero hindi yung mundo. No? Parang may nagbago lang talaga. So, these Mayan people, they developed the technology for growing different crops and building elaborate cities using ordinary machineries and tools. Okay? So, ganito. Yung uh, Mayan people, this is how they dress. Okay? So that is how their warriors look like, their man, woman, the priest, and the king. So anong, mapap anong mapapansin nyo? Makulay sila, ano? Makulay na sila. Okay? So they built hydraulic systems with sophisticated waterways to supply water to different communities. So sa kanila galing yung irrigating system. Okay? To supply water. Okay? The Mayans built looms for weaving cloth and devised rainbow of glittery paints from mineral called mica. Okay? So, yung mineral na yan, uh, glittery powder siya, na ginagamit nila sa gamit, sa makeup, okay? sa body paints nila, okay? They are also believed to be the first people to produce rubber products 3,000 years before Goodyear received its patent in 1844. So, sila daw yung unang gumamit ng rubber products, okay? Okay. The Mayans are considered one of the most uh, scientific, scientifically advanced societies in Mesoamerica. So, sila daw yung uh, pinaka-knowledgeable when it comes to science okay? in Mesoamerica. Okay? okay, let's move on na. Let's move on with Inca civilization. Okay? The Inca civilization is also famous in Mesoamerica. Okay? The Incas made advanced scientific ideas considering their limitations as an old civilization. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga uh, binigay ng Incan people sa atin? Okay? The following were scientific ideas and tools that they developed to help them in everyday life. Number one is the roads. Okay? Anong roads? The roads that are paved with stones. Okay? So, ang um, roads nila na is gawa sa stones. So, those are contributory factors that, give, that is given to us by Incan people. Okay? Stone buildings that surmounted earthquakes and other disasters. So, yung mga bahay na bato, okay? They are... Uh, they're introduced to us by Incan peoples. Okay? Irrigation system. Okay? Yung mga irrigasyon, yan sa, mga, sa farming natin. Okay? It is a technique for storing, storing water for their crops to grow in all types of land. So, yung hanggang ngayon ay ginagamit na irrigasyon ay inintroduce sa atin ng Incan peoples. Okay? Ano pa? Calendar with 12 months to mark their religious first festivals and prepare them for planting season. Okay? 
So, yung 12 months, okay, na, nasa kalendaryo, the idea or the concept of that was brought to us by Incan people. Okay? The first suspension bridge, ano ba suspension bridge? Yun yung hanging, okay? Yung suspended siya, diba? yung mga oranges na, na bridges dito sa Pilipinas, those are suspension bridge. Yung parang uh, nasa taas yung foundations nila. Okay? Then, kipo. Ano ba yung kipo? Uh, sa kanila galing ang kipo, a system of knotted ropes to keep records that only experts can interpret. Okay? So, uh, parang siyang uh, lubid, lubid. May tali-tali. Okay? Parang siyang may Morse code na ang nakakaintindi lang is yung experts. Okay? In Capex Fest, this cloth was one of the special, uh, specially prized artistic achievements. Okay? Yung Inca textiles nila, yung patterns kasi nila kakaiba and maganda talaga. Okay? Okay, after uh, Incas, we have the Aztec civilization. Okay, ano bang meron sa Aztec? They made substantial contributions to science and technology and to the society. Some of their contributions are the following. Number one is the mandatory education. Okay? So, itong mandatory ed uh, education, itong uh, uh, way na gusto natin matuto sa skwelahan ay galing sa Aztec people. The Aztec puts the value on education. That is why their children are mandated to education regardless of their social class, gender, or age, and it is an early form of universal or inclusive education. Okay? So, sa kanila galing yung uh, your right to study regardless of what social class you are, you belong, what, what gender you have, or what age you have. Okay? Another is the chocolates. Okay? This Aztec in Mexico developed chocolate during their time. In Mayan culture naman, they are used as currency. Anong currency? Yung pangbayad nila. Pera, di ba? The Aztec valued the cacao beans highly and made it as part of their, uh, of their tribute to, uh, to their gods. Okay? So, ginagawa siyang alay. Okay? Okay. They also uh, introduced us the, uh, the use of anti-spadomic medication. Ano yung anti-spadomic medication? It is the use of anti-spadomic uh, herbs or medicines to prevent muscle spasms. Okay? So, anong yun ang gayari? Pag bine-prevent mo yung muscle spasms, nire-relax mo yung muscle. Pag nare-relax yung muscle, na, na-pre-prevent. Okay? Yung further pain. Pre -pre -pre further production of pain ng ating uh, pain receptors. Okay? Ito ay nakakatulong. They, they use it uh, for surgery. During surgery. Okay? So, they use it as pampahipapamanhid. Yun. They introduce us that the anti-spadomic medication. Okay, and then they introduced us the use of chinampa. Ano yung chinampa? It is a form of Aztec technology for agricultural farming in which the land was divided into rectangular areas. Tapos susuka, uh, uh, hukaya nila yun ng mga kanal. Tapos lalagyan nila ng tubig. Okay? And then, of course, they introduced us the Aztec calendar. Ano yung Aztec calendar? They used them to plan their activities, rituals, and planting season. Okay? And then, of course, the invention of canoe. Ano yung canoe? Of course, we all know that. Yung balsa. Okay? Yung parang balsa. You, uh, you use it in traversing what? bodies of water. Yung nakatayo pa pero. Okay? So, a light narrow boat used for traveling in water system. So, sa atin, balsa tawag dun. Okay. After that, we have this Asian civilization, okay? Oh, uh, Asian Revolution, okay? The Asian Revolution is so taught Asian countries about freedom and independent nationhood along the improvement brought by its in, uh, it internally. Okay, so marami din tayong contribution as Asian people sa mundo, okay? Number one, India is a huge peninsula surrounded by the vast bodies of water and fortified by huge mountains in its northern borders. Okay? The Indians, ano naman ang uh, contribution ng Indians? They are known for manufacturing iron, bakal, and in metallurgical works. So, the iron steel is considered to be the best and held with high regard in the Roman Empire. So, baka ma-imagine niyo yung Roman soldiers, um, ang kanilang mga protectors ay eh, gawa sa bakal, di ba? So, those bakal pala, those iron pala, inaangkat nila yun sa Indians, okay? So, they are also famous in medicine, okay? So, marami din silang traditional medicine na hanggang ngayon ay eh, ginagamit pa rin, okay? And then, the Ayurveda, the Ayurveda, it is a system of traditional medicine that originated in ancient in India, before 2500 BC and is still practiced as a form of alternative medicine today. So, itong Ayurveda ito ginagamit pa rin siya ngayon. Mayroon parang siyang uh, book of medical, medicinal plants or medicinal practices. Okay? 
Though they discovered some medicinal properties of plants that led them to develop medicines to cure various illnesses. Okay? Some Dipo. <laughs> so, some ancient texts like Susruta Sasmina describes different surgical and other medical procedures famous in ancient India. So, ito, nilagay na, lagay nila ng account, tinake account nila into a book that is uh, called Susruta Sasmita, Samhita. Okay? Ancient Indian is also notable in the field of astronomy. Okay? So, mahilig din sila. They also uh, contributed some factors or some studies when it comes to astronomy. So, they developed theories on the configuration of the universe, the spherical sun supporting Earth, and the the year of 360 days with 12 equal parts of 30 days. So, it's, kung makikita nyo, sa kanila galing na yung konsepto na ang isang taon ay 360 days. Pero sa atin ngayon, of course, we know na 365 days, ang complete uh, days of the calendar. Okay? And then, it, of course, they also adapted the 12 equal parts. Okay? And then, they are also known for their mathematics. Sino na panood na dito ng ano? Ng three idiots. Diba? Doon may kita mo yung... Yes, o, oh, diba? Diba sa three idiots, they are engineers. Tapos, kung makikita nyo talaga sa India, masyado silang uh, mahigpit when it comes to studying of mathematics. Kahit sa elementary. Oo. Because, uh, kung makikita nyo talaga, Indians, uh, lalo na sa movie na yun, diba? Ang higpit nila sa pag-aaral ng, ano, ng mathematics. Diba? Uh, meron pa yung part, may, meron pang time doon na may nagpamatay, right? Because of the pressure. So, ganun. Kaya sabi nila, Maganda mag-aral ng engineering sa India. Hmm, totoo yun. And then, uh, they gave us this uh, uh, Arabhatiya by Aryabhata. Si Jose Arabhata, he is an Indian astronomer and mathematician in his Aryabhatiya. Oh, ay, ano pala kayo, no? BS Math, oh. Panoonin niya yung, ano, three idiots. Ano to kayo, ano? <laughs> It's the number of a trigonometric. Oh, yeah. Suggest mo sa classmates mo yun. Panoorin nyo. Ganda. Trigonometric functions. Medyo mahabang nga lang yun. The functions, tables, and techniques as well as algorithms of algebra. So, maglita ka sa algebra. Kaya dun sa ano din eh, sa 3 Jutes, nakikita mo na ang galing-galing nila sa math. Di ba? The uh, algebra, uh, the, it is, uh, the concept of algebra is brought about by this Arabiata man. Okay? An Indian man. An Indian astronomer. Okay? And, and all, all of this is taken into account in his Aryabhatiya. Okay? Okay, so uh, enough from the, from the Indians. Let's move on with China. Uh, China, one of the ancient civilizations with substantial contributions in many areas of uh, life, like medicine. Hanggang ngayon, mapapansin nyo, ang daming traditional medicine ng China. Okay? Astronomy, science, okay? mathematics, arts, philosophy, and music. Okay, the Chinese are known for their traditional medicines. Okay, mga uh, lalong-lalo na yung acupuncture, di ba? Natayin nyo na ba yun, magpa-acupuncture? Itutusok, itutusok nila yun sa, ayan, yung third picture dyan sa screen nyo, uh, nakaturo dyan yung mga acupuncture points, yung mga pressure points ng katawan natin. So, sa paniniwala ng mga Chinese people, which is accepted naman ngayon sa traditional medicine natin, sa uh, medicine natin, ang actual mga doctors nga namin nag-acupuncture, eh. okay? The, it is very accepted na yung mga points na yan, connected siya in certain body organs, body parts, to relieve pain, okay? To relieve pressure, kaya siya acupuncture. It uses relievance of pressure, okay? So, use of herbs then, right? Ang dami nilang herbs sa China. Very rich sila when it comes to herbs, right? Okay, so medis, uh, let's move on with, uh, patapos na to. Okay, Middle East. Okay, the revolutions in the Middle East were a product of development and growth of individual nationalism, imperialism for the efforts of westernized and modernized Middle Eastern societies and to push the declining power of the Ottoman Empire in the Arab region. So, ito yung, kung babalikan nyo to, yung mga Ottoman Empire na yan, yan yung mga, ano nila nun, kauna-unahang empire nila. Okay, sa region, sa Arab region. Okay, a Muslim scientist named Ibn al-Haytham is regarded as the father of optics. So, siya yung nag-aral ng uh, uh, bending of light. Okay, sa liwa uh, ilaw, yung light, bending of light itself. Especially for the empirical proof of the intermission of theory.